Okay, so for unit 1, the overview of the emerging technologies. So in this unit, so we will be discussing the development of technologies. How technologies being developed and emerged. So we will be discussing the introductions to the industrial revolution or the IR. So we will be discussing also the most important invention of the industrial revolution during this time and of course the historical background. Next, the role of uh, data for the emerging technologies, the devices and network devices which is programmable. Yes, we will be discussing that. Um, Next is the human to machine interaction. So we will have the HCI or the human computer interaction. Anyway, uh, my subject man mo ani later on the HCI. So whole course gini siya. So we will be discussing a short discipline con contributing to human computer interaction. So yan. Next is the future trends in emerging technologies. So actually, we had uh, lots of emerging technologies right now. So we will be selecting those trends which is uh, related to IT. Okay? So that's all for the overview of emerging technologies. Uh, that would be the introductory topic of our uh, course which is CCIT 06. Next is... Unit 2, the data science. Uh, I know uh, everyone has an idea what is a data science or medyo nabatian lang siguro what is a data science or what is a data science. Of course, in this uh, unit, we will be discussing the overview of data science. So, what data and information and data processing cycle guys, di na taani matingala o di na taani maglibog because during first year hasta sa third year di balik-balik lang siya from the beginning until sa current din yung may year karon. what is data, what is information, what is metadata, how data is being processed, di ba? okay, so kumbaga a short uh, recap na lang next is data types and the representation same we have data types from computer programming perspective and data types from data analytics perspective okay so we will be discussing that also next is the data value chain have you heard the word data value chain anyway we will be discussing this on chapter 2 or unit 2 what is data acquisition, what is data analysis, data curation, data storage, and data usage. Yes. Next is the uh, the basic concept of big data. Okay, have you heard the word big data? Okay, anyway, we will be discussing that also in this chapter. The big data. We will not discuss the whole topic of a big data, but then we will just select the important parts of data so that we could understand what is uh, big data is all about the clustered computing in HodaOps ecosystem okay the clustered computing the Hadoop and its ecosystem yes we will be discussing that one on that uh, on this chapter the big data cycle and Hadoop so we will be discussing so you know it's with difficult to understand what is a big data, what is data science because that's a big topic but anyway, we will be uh, discussing that we will try to understand okay, guys, so stay put lang <laughs> next is the artificial intelligence that's for the unit 3 so for the unit 3, it discusses the AI. Have you heard the word AI? Dili ka ng AI sa baboy ha? Artificial insemination? <laughs> That's artificial intelligence sa IT. 
Okay, so what is artificial intelligence? Of course, uh, the goals of artificial intelligence. What comprises of artificial intelligence? Of course, the advantages and disadvantages of artificial intelligence. We will be discussing that. Okay. Next is we will be discussing also the history of AI. Nganong na amay AI, di ba? Next, the the levels of AI. The types of AI, so how human think, the mapping human think and the artificial intelligence intelligence components. Yes, that belongs to the types of AI. Next is the influencers of artificial intelligence. Who influence the artificial intelligence? It came from big data analytics. Cloud computing and application programming interface and emergence of data science. Okay. That's for the influencers of the artificial intelligence. Next is the applications of AI or the art, uh, uh, applications of artificial intelligence. Actually guys, we had lots of uh, applications of the AI. So, we will be discussing that one. We will be selecting those applications also. Next is the AI tools and platforms. Actually, guys, we have lots of platforms and tools for artificial intelligence. So, we will just introduce those uh, platforms. And we have the AI applications also. We will give a sample of an AI applications. Actually, guys... Uh, ang ato ang college uh, naka-develop na o ganing AI or the artificial intelligence Sir Glenn Oliverio is one of the faculty from the college who is uh, handling and teaching AI or the artificial intelligence okay so that's one of the uh, challenging topic or unit is the artificial intelligence okay Next is the unit 4 which is Internet of Things. Actually guys, the Internet of Things, I had already introduced this one uh, during our uh, previous uh, semester. Diba? So, the overview of the IOT. So, what is Internet of Things? Of course, we will know what is IOT. How did it came from? And of course, the advantages and disadvantages of the Internet of Things. And of course, the, we had lots of challenges of Internet of Things. We will be discussing that also. And then, how does it work? Paano bago magana itong si IT or IoT? Okay, so pwedeng architecture of and devices and network. So pwede yan. So, i discuss din natin yan. Next is uh, IoT tools and platforms. So, how IoT and tools and platforms uh, used for developing uh, IoT projects. So, IoT based smart home, based smart city, uh, based smart farming. So, marami yan. So, medyo challenging also uh, topic na yan. Okay, next. Uh, unit 5. Augmented reality. Have you heard the word augmented reality? The virtual reality? The mixed reality? So, on this topic, we will be discussing that. First, we will be discussing what is augmented reality. What is the difference between the VR, the AR, and MR. The virtual reality, the augmented reality, and mixed reality. Okay? So, we will be, we will be discussing also the architectures of those uh, systems. Okay? So, what is the uh, what are the applications of AR systems like in education, medicine, entertainment? So, we will be discussing. So that's one of the emerging technologies right now and even today we are using some uh, 
applications which is which has a virtual reality, diba? Yes, and you guys are familiar with those things. Next chapter, we will be discussing the ethics and professionalism of emerging technologies. So, we will know what technology and ethics, the ethical questions such as general ethical principles, professional responsibilities, and professional leadership or leadership principles. We will be learning also digital privacy. Yeah. And then we will be learning uh, accountability and trust, threats and challenges on this unit. So, medyo marami tayong malalaman sa topic na yan when it comes to uh, ethics and professionalism of emerging technology. So, keep in touch lang tayo mga students. And uh, next unit, we have the uh, emerging technologies or the others or the other emerging technologies the technologies sorry uh, ne- first we have first one we have the nanotechnology are you familiar with the nanotechnology okay the nanotechnology how does it started and the fundamental concept of nanoscience and nanotechnology okay we don't know some someday you will be developing Uh, a project with a nanotechnology. At least you have an idea, di ba? How about the biotechnology? So that's one of the emerging technologies right now. So we will be discussing that also. The applications of the biotechnology. Another one is the blockchain technology. So we will be discussing the history of uh, the history of the blockchain technology. Three, uh, the three pillars of blockchain technology the block uh, how does blockchain works and why do people use the peer to peer network and of course the applications of the blockchain maybe someday you will be developing any projects or applications which uh, blockchain technology uh, is being introduced okay Next one is the cloud and quantum computing. Yes, this is also familiar, especially if you are developing uh, into a cloud computing. If you are a web developer also. So, cloud computing, we will know those things. The advantages of cloud computing. Yeah, yes, uh, the advantages also of quantum computer, uh, computing. So, we will be explaining what is the difference between cloud and quantum compu- computing. Yes, we will be discussing that on the cloud and quantum computing. Another one is autonomic computing or the AC. So we will know the characteristics of the autonomic system. And next one is the embedded systems. Have you, have you heard, heard the word uh, embedded systems? Actually, guys, if you if you are developing any applications. Pag abot atong fourth year or third year, we will be developing embedded systems. And we had lots of embedded systems that we could develop. Anyway, uh, as we go along with our topic, uh, you will understand what is embedded systems. So, the advantages and disadvantages of embedded systems, the structure of the embedded, embedded systems. Of Next is the... Uh, cyber security yes you are familiar with the cyber security especially you are an IT the cyber security threats the cyber security vendors the benefits of cyber security and the cyber security measures so challenging yes next we have the addictive manufacturing or the 3D printing familiar So, we will be discussing this 3D printing. Okay? And then, for the last uh, chapter or unit, we have the Laravel for web application. Actually, guys, before we proceed to Laravel application or web application, 
you must have an idea in uh, PHP programming, Java, JavaScript programming, the Vue.js. So, medyo uh, one, uh, challenging. Anyway, we will be discussing the Laravel, the advantages of the Laravel, how to install Laravel, uh, application structure, configuration, routing, uh, middleware, controllers, the blade templates, and everything. So we will be uh, discussing that. Anyway, I will upload tutorials on YouTube so that you can follow. Anyway, guys, uh, sa YouTube lang ako uh, i-upload because from time to time, you could recall it, you could play the video, and uh, pwede nyo na siya mabalik-balik until mabalanin ang tutorial. Okay? So guys, pasensya na kayo uh, bago ra manggutaan ang uh, new normal when it comes to education the e-learning. So pasensya na uh, it comes to language Bisaya, Tagalog, English Kinamatis uh, understand na lang. Okay? So guys uh, stay safe and God bless. Thank you.